when daughters and sons see their fathers in respectable, non-violent, equitable relationships, they internalize the idea of equality and can pass this on to their own children. My name is Vanessa Sibanda and this is Crime and Road Safe to Watch. Every year, from 25 November to 10 December, the world observes the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, a campaign that aims to raise awareness and mobilize action to end all forms of violence against women and children. This year, it is running under the theme, Time to Act Now. The Zimbabwe Republic Police has joined the Sadak region in the operation court named Operation Vasadi, which targets wanted persons in connection with crimes against women and children. The Tarapima Shonalin East Province Women Network launched this operation through a march in Marondera town recently. Domestic violence East Province, domestic violence. Crime and Road Safety Watch also spoke to members of the public who expressed their views on gender-based violence. We now move on to Bulawayo province, where police have made great strides in accounting for armed robbery syndicates. Bulawayo metropolitan province uh, experienced a surge of uh, armed robberies, uh, armed carjackings, and uh, criminals were targeting few garages. Uh, the first group of uh, criminals were arrested, uh, they are nine in number. Uh, one firearm was uh, um, recovered from the criminals and uh, it has been taken for ballistic examination. The second group consists uh, of six robbers who were uh, mainly targeting vehicles. So far, three vehicles were stolen, one was recovered and the two are yet to be uh, recovered. The criminals uh, were cornered at Luveve Park and uh, the criminals tried to fire at the police detectives and the police detectives managed to, to neutralize their fire. And uh, three of the accused persons were shot, they were taken to hospital and eventually they were remanded uh, awaiting trial. The third group of criminals was targeting business people. So another operation was also conducted leading to the arrest of um, seven accused persons. So far, two pellet guns have been recovered. Accused persons would follow um, potential uh, business people and then they follow them um, in the dead of the night and uh, then attack them and uh, steal money from them. An operation was conducted leading to their arrest. The accused persons have been taken to court for prosecution. I urge uh, members of the public, especially the business community, not to keep large sums of money at home. 
from that story, we take a short break. Join us in the second segment of Crime and Road Safe to Watch. We're in the second segment of Crime and Road Safe to Watch. On this week's traffic safety segment, the Minister of Transport and Infrastructural Development, the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe and other stakeholders joined the First Lady, Dr. Amai Oxiliam Nangagwa, on a road safety awareness walkathon in Goromonzi recently. This was done in commemoration of the World Day of Remembrance for road traffic accident victims. The First Lady addressed members of the public on road safety issues. The WDR is commemorated the world over in this month of November, as declared by the United Nations General Assembly. I am indeed humbled that you have all taken time to be here in support of this worthy cause. Allow me to acknowledge the work of the Minister of Transport and Infrastructural Development, ably steered by Honorable Mona, Honorable Minister and your team we appreciate your work ranging from transport infrastructural development to your efforts on road traffic safety management. I also wish to thank the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe for always championing road safety in our country. While we appreciate our concerted efforts towards the reduction of road traffic accidents, it is my well-considered view that we can do more. I understand that there's too much work and all our hands are needed on the deck. It is for this reason that I am here, Minister, to take part in this walkathon and commemoration of the International Day of Remembrance of Accident Victims. Road safety is a major public health and development issue that affects millions of people around the world. According to the World Health Organization, more than 1.3 million people die each year as a result of road traffic crashes. In Zimbabwe, like most other developing countries, the rate of road crashes is still unacceptably too high. It is disturbing to note that in our case, we experience a traffic collision every 15 minutes. Resultantly, an average of 38 people are injured per day and about five deaths are recorded every day. Our major concern is that fact that 94% of these road traffic crashes are caused by human error, which checks a form of drunk driving, cell phone use while driving, speeding, overtaking errors, and overloading, as indicated by the United Nations report of 2019. I call upon all of us to remember that these are not just statistics. They are our children, our brothers and sisters. In some cases, so breadwinners who are losing life or limb. This calls for behavioral change on the part of motorists. To effect this change, there is need for everyone to join hands with us in promoting and upholding traffic laws in our country. The disheartening fact is that most people who are victims of these crashes are young people in whom our future lies. The commemoration of this World Day of Remembrance is therefore intended to respond to the greater need consoling road crash survivors and remembering our departed as a result of these crashes. It assists us in giving them public recognition for their loss and suffering. It has also become an important tool for the government and those who work to prevent crashes or respond to the aftermath to demonstrate the enormous scale and impact of road deaths and injuries and the urgent need for action. She also took time to speak to drivers. Dr. Nguayino, 
Sakana maona tichifamba tichitawula na driver wega wega. Kumufunza kuti no kumu ya uchiza. Kuti the people that you are carrying, their lives are in your hands. What are you thinking and what are you doing about it? The Minister of Transport and Infrastructural Development, Honorable Felix Mona, and the Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution, Mashonal and East Province, Honorable Apollonia Munzwerengui, also gave their remarks. Dine mashoko, ano vakunem tunga miri wedo ano teere rababa Dr. Emerson Damzo Mnangagwa. Vano gara zwane zo, ashi toita sei kutimi ma accidents ad zikiri. But in our cabinet, Vicky and Vicky, do not shake and shout at a rascal and never know a shanu, never know gummies, no abata, Vanons Wakuzamirwa. Sakavani Mashoka, Avaka Miss Kiza, Avakatin, Dukaku, and Akutanga festive season, you know. Uchatanga, Angu, no go and go see my ambulance, a match my own guns, a cat one day. As soon as I go out for my togs, Ega, Ega, Pamira ambulance, you know Takurava, and Ninga Vita Saona, Mumbagua, Iwoyo. Avana Pere, Papa, what? Poor Takura. Chironga nema parasteta wa ako kuti vane wadi inosko gamchira vanu va vamsa ona izoto. Saka mchao wana mawadza, nika arimo ma provincial hospital, maane chikamu chino nzawa ndova nwa kuwara, neza ona, vachipatu kwa zwemando ya pamsoro, paine meshina, ichiva ongoro la zwemando ya pamsoro. Saka tishasha ndane traffic safety council of Zimbabwe, tishasha ndane zinara, amai, shoko randaka tunga na baba, president wedu wa mnangakwa. Havana kukumira ipapo, what is Jacanaka say? Could you watch him miss kids? I know the road accident fund. Sakam Chawana Zakari, road accident fund, Icha Basira, Vashaya, Icha Basira Vasara, Vachiri Tira, Murizneza, see one even in Guapara. Chawana to an away to a ginger wife, what does Zagana window score? Negutman Basina, no Tarira. Sakamind rotate out to my show, Guayo, Negutuma Pandagaita and a president, Babam Nangagua. The Ashisa, Chazivisa, Muriavo, yes, Zimbabwe. Pamsoro pazo ama imurugona magumbeze ya riu kuru, eh, kuruboshkwe kwenyu. Nde kuwa riza pambete ya ma hospital. Eh, traffic safety council eh, vami sikiza ma blanket sa nkwana kuita 200. Saka mchao na 200 iwayo mchava mafamba na o. Eh, kuti muno zo gowera kushupata raswa. Muno ona zwa karingana saka tichasia panguwa ino tichitu kupei. I am urging all our drivers across the country to save lives. When you are driving, you are not carrying bags of cement. Amai venyika vasia mabasavo kutirega indi ende parodi dino chema dino taura ne muri kutitangati tezere mitemo ye parodi. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for coming to Mashist. Ambassadors, thank you very much for joining our first lady. We want to thank you. Honorable Minister Mona, I think we are the most affected province in terms of accidents. The stretch which covers Mvuma, Chivu, Beatriz, Harare, we can hardly go for two days without an accident reported. Again, along this highway to Mutare, just after Melford, it has become a black spot. And um, we are saying more programs of this nature should continue since we are going towards the festive season. Other stakeholders gave their solidarity speeches. Safety, safety, Zimwe zenguwa eh, vanvano takatika. Wona ikuti inda kamu kira wakuchipatara. Ndaka dobda newspaper pa first page kuti inda shayi kira passport. Saka nchiti nenyasha zamari ndiripano. Ndino fara handichi. Ndino ramantisha ndira nyika yangu. Ndino ramantikuru zira vamwe. Varimu kure mara kuti 
Nika ino vakwa nevene vayu. Nesu wakare mara. Ndo zoka zakari. Migwa gwa yedu ya kanaka chaisho. Ngati chereche zei wo. Vakare mara kana wachifamba. Ngati chereche zei wo. Kutikunyangwe information ya tirikuisa. Nga iwe iri inclusive. Igone kubata omu na singa oni. Igone kubata omu vari jef. Nukuti vari jef. Vamwe vacho vano famba. Vani vano riza huta. Hava zikuti munu ya hata uri. Saka ngati chereche zei kutinyika no kuzara kwa ayo. Saka siyana. Nesupo sataka pi wanazona mwari. In a bid to um, reduce uh, road traffic uh, carnage, drivers should also be recognized and respected as human. To the operators, I uh, 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 actually encourage my operators to serve my drivers, pressure your booty by my targets. At the end, one person that uh, perform really beyond their ability, beyond their potential. So one person that uh, will be able to the next thing, one person that uh, will be able to get the next thing, one person that will be able to get the next thing, one person that will be able to to ngabe driver bazi ne matai akafa no no it's not proper ngati va chengetedze ima drivers edu let us also take responsibility of their welfare that va pay you remuneration kana ma wages and wa kut and wa fadza so that kuti muri yavo iwo aiva be futi pressure yekuti vara ba chenda kubasa nekure kuti mari ha isikwana zvakakosha izvo zvokuti driver wega wega Tampa Mosha that will prove the equine that called defensive uh, uh, training so that would another this how to drive defensively. As we remember those who lost their lives due to road traffic accidents, we continue urging members of the public to always be safe on the road, observe road rules and regulations, and drive to arrive alive. We'll take a short break. Join us in the third and final segment. <music> In the third and final segment of Crime and Road Safe to Watch, the community in Signing Hill, Hillside, Bulawayo, bought a vehicle that is to be used by the Neighborhood Watch Committee and the police to patrol their area. Let us hear more. Signing Hill, I'm very proud of you as a community. You heeded the call and came on board to fight our common enemy, which is crime. Your efforts towards this goal here never gone unnoticed. I am reliably informed that since your information, you never looked back or faltered in your quest to eradicate crime in the neighborhood. As a result, signing you is becoming a no-go area for criminals. Congratulations, uh, signing you. We converge here to witness and celebrate yet another neighborhood watch committee achievement a dedicated patrol vehicle. It takes a high level of mutual understanding, commitment, and the collective responsibility to mobilize resources of this magnitude under the current economic conditions. Yours is a fit in vain, yet non achievable to men. Therefore, I implore you to remain united as a community, continue cooperating with the police to scale more heights. We gather to unveil our newest patrol vehicle for Sanyel, which represents our commitment to safety and the service in our community. This vehicle is more than just a new set of wheels. It embodies our dedication to protecting and serving our citizens in Sanyel. It will help us respond quickly and effectively to emergencies, patrol our neighborhoods, and keep our streets very safe. We are proud to have this vehicle join our fleet and look forward 
to the important work it would do in helping us save our community. The patrol vehicle shall be used totally in conjunction with the ZRP hillside duties obviously includes night day crime preventive patrols. In other news, we would like to congratulate the ZRP National Spokesperson, Commissioner Paul Nyati, who is also the executive producer of Crime and Road Safety Watch program, on scooping the corporate communications personality for the year 2024 award at the recently held Institute of Public Relations and Communications Zimbabwe Awards. I'm Shope Makorokoto, congratulations. We now move on to people on the police wanted list. ZRP Zishavane is looking for Tokmoko Poza of Madamwa Village, Chief Masunda Zishavane, for a case of rape. David Magama of Mpesi Village, Chief Mazriwa, is wanted by ZRP Zishavane for a case of robbery. Police in Zishavane is looking for Rufaro Tzivakwe of Chimunyu Village, Chief Masunda, for a case of murder. Should you have any information that may assist in the location of any of those wanted persons, feel free to visit any nearest police establishment or contact us on the following details. Call us on our National Complaints Desk number 0242-703-631. Visit our website www.zrp.gov.zw or email us on feedback at zrp.gov.zw. You can also get in touch with us on our X platform at Police Zimbabwe or interact with us on our ZRP Facebook page, Zimbabwe Republic Police. You can watch all Crime and Road Safety Watch episodes on our YouTube channel, Zimbabwe Republic Police. It has been a pleasure having you along. Gender-based violence is a major consequence of gender inequality. It is a world phenomenon and requires both you and me to end it. From me, Onesisa Subanda, and the Crime and Road Safety Watch crew behind the scenes, pleasant viewing.